All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got another challenge today. This is a Walmart food challenge. In here, I've got six items, all from Walmart. And uh, we're going to try our best to catch a fish off of all six items. Some of these may surprise you, some of these maybe not. But let's go ahead and get started, guys. All right, guys, our very first bait for the day is a Kraft American Single. And what you do with these guys is you take off a little piece and you make yourself a nice little cheese ball. You just compress this stuff around, just like so, guys. So we're just gonna take this little ball of cheese, just gonna pop it right onto our hook here, guys, mold it around. And this is just your basic sandwich cheese, guys. Every one of you guys have this in your refrigerator right now, I'm sure. For this rig, you can fish it all on the bottom. The cheese will work just like power bait, but in this position here, in this condition, I will be using a float and I'll be drifting this cheese. So we've got our float, a weight, and our tiny little ball of cheese right here, guys. So let's just go ahead and pop this on out there and see how she does. I have caught fish on cheese before, guys. I do know that it works. Um, but for the sake of this video, I would like to show you guys. There we go, guys. First cast on the cheese. This guy right here could not stand it. The very first cast with the uh, craft singles. Just going to get her right on in the net here. She's still got plenty of fight left in her, guys. we go all right guys that is a heifer on that cheese all right guys she actually popped off in the net she's all free and cleared to go so we're just going to let her swim right on off go on girl see if she goes there she goes all right guys so the craft cheese simple easy to use guys it does catch trout very first bite almost all you guys have some cheese at home Take it out next time you go trout fishing. Give it a try. All right, guys, for our next bait, this is some great value white bread. You pretty much do the same thing as the cheese. You make yourself a little ball. Let me pop this back here, there we go. And just like I did last time, guys, I made the ball a little bit too big. Just make yourself a nice little ball of bread here. And hey, guys, if you got cheese and bread on you and you didn't catch a fish, well, at least you got a meal. And we're just gonna ball up our bread. Just like so, guys. And we're gonna cast it out there just like we done our cheese. Exact same technique. Just gonna cast it out there. Let that bread work its way on down. There we go, guys. Had a mess on our reel, but was able to get that out. This fish here took the light bread. It did take a few casts, guys, to get one, but um, not too bad. Once I got around a fish that was into bread, he definitely took it quickly. All right, guys. Got that little small salmon egg hook right in the top of the mouth here. Perfect location for that. We're actually gonna have to grab our pliers out here, guys, because he's got it all the way up to the shank of the hook. Just gonna grab it there, turn it out. Perfect. All right, guys. Got one on cheese and now one on bread, aka the cheese sandwich. Let's let this little girl take right on off here. All right, guys, heck yeah. All right, time for another bait. All right, guys, for our next bait, we'll be using sweet whole kernel corn. Um, this is kind of a trout fisherman staple here in Virginia. I don't know about where you're from, but for here, definitely. We're just gonna drain our old corn juice off here, guys. Roll our top back. Take out about two kernels, will be about all it takes. We'll just set our corn down here. Um. The cheese worked really quickly, guys. So I'm thinking the corn will as well. 
Um, looking like one kernel is all we're going to need. So we'll drop our other one down there. All right, guys. We'll drop our corn right on in there. He dropped it. No sooner than he hit it, he dropped it, guys. There we go, fish number two on the corn. Maybe we can keep this one on. I believe this is the exact same fish, guys. How lucky is that? We got him, guys. We got one on the corn. I'm down. We're gonna get y'all. There we go. All right, let's let this little guy just take right on off. Heck yeah, guys. So, so far we've got uh, cheese, then bread. We caught one on corn. I think now we're going to have to go for the sweets, guys. All right, next up, we've got Walmart brand mini marshmallows. I know this kind of seems strange, guys. I'm sure you're thinking, what the heck, you catch fish on marshmallows? Absolutely, guys. Marshmallows work. So let's get us one rigged up. Lay the rest of the bag there. We'll just put us a marshmallow right on there just like so. A little bit of blood from where that last fish bit me. Won't hurt. Let's pop off the float. I don't think we need it. Just take that float off. And we'll just take our marshmallow just like it is. And we'll cast him out. There's our marshmallow fish, guys. It's a big one, too. Daggone, is it ever. Seen her come up and take that mallow right off the bottom. All right, got that one. Heck yeah. All right, now we just gotta see whereabouts our hook is in this little girl. Right in the corner of the mouth, guys, perfect. Calm down. Calm down, we're gonna get you off. All right, guys, there we go. We got the marshmallows marked off with that fish right there. Heck yeah. Just let her just take right on off here. There she goes. Heck yeah, guys. All right, guys. For our fifth bait, we've got Bubble Yum Original. This particular brand and this particular flavor is phenomenal for trout fishing, guys. Just take my word for it. All right, guys. So, when fishing bubble gum, you can do it two ways. You can either use a ball or you can make a, uh, a worm with it. I kind of like fishing it as a worm. It works quite well. And like I said, you just roll you out a little pink bubble gum worm here. You'll take your hook and run him right in the middle. Now be advised guys, when this worm hits the water, it will stiffen. So it's a good idea to kind of bend it and make it look a little funny so that when it goes down through the water column, it'll kind of flip around and move there we go guys bubblegum worm first cast in with the worm That old rainbow loved that old bubble gum. 
Ooh, he's stripping drag. He's not too happy. All right, guys, there we go. And there is our bubble gum fish. Oh, popped right on out of the net. Can you go? All right, guys, heck yeah. Kind of a ugly release there, but we'll take it. All right, one more to go, guys. All right, guys, we are down to our final bait. And as you can see right here, it's Twizzler pulling pills. Now listen guys, this right here is more than just food. This is freaking epic trout bait. Just trust me, they love this stuff. All you've got to do guys, is grab you one out. Let's put our trash away, we don't want to litter. Grab us one out of here. And then we're just going to peel us off a piece. Just like we was going to eat it. Of course, we got one here that's not very pilly. It's about the right length. Pull you off a piece about that long, guys. And then all you've got to do with this, let's put these Twizzlers to the side so I can show you the rigging. Guys, all you have to do with this right here is the same as we have been in, in videos past and different things. Wacky rig hook this Twizzler just like that guys this thing is cherry flavored it's bright red and trout love them all right guys we'll make a cast right up against this rock wall here we'll let that twizzler just slowly fall it does sink on its own kind of let it get right down where these fish are oh there was our bite guys we missed him that's something i do like about twizzlers guys is you can afford to miss a couple um once it hits the water it kind of hardens up a little bit and uh, it's super fishable. They'll stay on for a little while. Trout really do enjoy them. let that just slowly drift down through there guys a nice natural presentation There we go, guys. That is a big one. Big one, one of the Twizzlers. Oh yeah, nice one, guys. And again, guys, all of these baits I've used in this video, you can buy at your local Walmart, at your local grocery store. And the truth of the matter is, you probably have it all already at home. Let's get her in the net. All right, guys, and there you have it. Trout on grocery store items, guys. Simple, easy, tons of fun. Let's see if we can find our hook. Oh, hook's already out, guys. All right. There's one more look at that one. We'll let her go. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And by all means, guys, go out. Go out to your local grocery store. Pick you up a handful of these baits and go give them a try for yourself, guys. They all work well. Cheese, bread, marshmallows, bubble gum, Twizzlers, and corn. All of these baits, guys, you can take any one or all to your local creek and you can catch some fish, guys. But... Until next time, tight lines. Today we are at Cedar Springs, and guess what, guys? This is not the Sportsman's Lodge. This is the hatchery, a.k.a. the farm. You guys can come down here and fish this stretch. This is a private stretch, guys. Six people only, no more, no less. Um, you can also rent the big white house over there, or that little blue building there has a couple bunkers in it, and you can sleep there as well. Um, camping is accessible here 
you know, sometimes you got to call ahead of time. Um, as of right now, the big house is being renovated. February 2020 should be reopened. Bunkers are open right now, guys. Um, $60 per person. Take six of you. This can all be yours. Today, I've got some people here fishing with me, and we're enjoying it ourselves. But uh, I do hope you guys get a chance to uh, come on out here and have a look. Here, I'd bring you up here to the runs to have a little look, guys. Here's a run full of small fingerlings. Probably just came out here from being indoors not too long ago. And it looks like rainbows, but I could be wrong. We'll slide over here, guys. And right here is a run full of fingerlings. A little bit bigger. Beautiful little fish here, guys. We'll slide on down to the next run, see what's in here. All right, guys, more fingerlings in this run. So they've got a good inventory for the future. 